welcome back to my channel today i've got another zara haul this time though it's actually like a transitional spring haul so i'm really loving the pieces that are gonna yeah take us through to spring a little bit more lightweight and i am so looking forward to some more sunshine so yeah if you want to see what i got then keep on watching okay so i'm gonna start off with some basics because who doesn't need more basics in the wardrobe i mean to be fair, maybe I don't, but I feel like I did. So I got just these like fine knit t-shirts. It's literally just, yeah, a t-shirt. It's quite um high neck, which is the reason why I picked it up because I mean, you can tell by the top I'm wearing. I personally prefer a higher neck and I actually don't really have any gray basics to be fair it's mainly just blacks and whites but yeah as we transition into the like spring season i know we're not there yet but i'm just looking forward to it um i wanted to get some more basics so yeah picked these up just a black one and a gray one both in a size medium and these were 15.99 okay then next i feel like this is gonna be like a bit marmite this item but i think it's pretty cool it's this denim bomber style jacket um i literally just saw it in zara today when i walked in and i'm surprised they're not actually sold out online to be fair it's got like the denim just detailing at the front like your standard denim jacket and then just on the sleeves it's got the bomber style it's like half and a half on the inside the inside does feel like a bomber jacket as well which i'm glad about because to be fair i do find bomber jackets more comfy than a denim jacket and um, just slightly less like irritable on the skin not that denim necessarily is but you know what i'm saying um the actual style at the bottom is like elasticated so it's gonna be slightly cropped and give you that bomber shape so yeah i'm really looking forward to trying this on to be fair and i actually love the like tone of denim as well like it's a bit of a darker wash to what i would normally go for in a denim jacket but i actually really like it so i got that this one i got in a size medium and this was this was 79.99 so it is a bit on the pricier side and then to go with that bomber jacket i don't even know if this is meant to go as like a pair because it wasn't like sold as a set or anything but i just saw these like straight leg dark wash blue jeans um when i saw them in the shop they were actually rolled up a bit but i think because i'm quite tall i'm like five foot eight um i wouldn't be able to get away with them being rolled up if you're petite however then they do look really cute just left as they are rolled up not much i can say about these just a straight leg dark wash jean um, it says it's the relaxed boyfriend fit in indigo and this i got in a size eu38 which i think might be a uk 10 um also recently i feel like i've seen somewhere someone saying that the circles in the labels mean that in zara that it's actually oversized i don't know how true that is um but yeah i'll see anyway when i try it on if it is a bit bigger of a size 10 that's actually why i opted for the size 10 because normally i'm in between a size 10 and 12 so yeah we'll see when i try it on okay then next i got this beautiful navy blazer i actually for some reason haven't had a blazer in a haul for ages um, and I was really excited by this one when I saw it, especially because I feel like a lot of people in other videos that I've watched have said that navy is going to be quite a big colour this year. So I definitely wanted to pick this up because I feel like it's quite a flattering colour to be honest. And it's just different to black because it looks a bit less like worky. The actual blazer itself does feel really nice quality as well. It's got padding in the shoulders so it's nice and structured. And then it's got like beautiful buttons going down and buttons again down the sleeves there so i got this one in a size medium i think i believe it said it was slightly oversized um but again i'll see when i try it on and then actually to go with this blazer i just got the matching trousers to go with it these were like right next to each other again i got these in a size medium which thinks a size 10 because 
these ones I think look like they'll fit quite big when I have them up. I'm thinking of styling this literally just with a white t-shirt rather than like fully formal with like a white shirt. I just love like dressing down suits and wearing trainers with them. So yeah, we'll see how that one looks. Okay, then next, I literally fell in love with this in the shop when I saw it. So it's just a trench coat, but how beautiful is the colour? It's like I'd say it's more of a forest green than a khaki green, to be honest. Um, I actually really, really love it though. So I'll try and hold it up a bit better. To start off with, it's got tortoise buttons, tortoiseshell buttons. And I absolutely love tortoiseshell buttons because I think it makes it look way more expensive than just like your standard all brown or all black buttons. So I love that. The actual shape of it, like the way that it's been stitched, I just really like, like the sleeves for example, they're like sewn tighter so it almost looks like a tailored sleeve so when you try it on it gives you like a balloon effect kind of sleeve, not like super super balloony but just a slight oversized look which I'm loving. It comes obviously with a belt like as usual trench coats do. This one the belt actually isn't super super long though because I feel like a lot of coats like belted coats that I've picked up recently the belt is ridiculously long to the point where if you don't tie them up which I often don't tie up my belted coats it's almost like just dragging across the floor so I'm glad that this one isn't overly long. I actually got this one in a size small just because Sometimes I've found with trench coats that if I've gone my usual size or upper size, there's just like so much material when I go to like fasten it or close it if I do do the belt up. Um, and I just, yeah, feel like a small should fit me. So love this. Then next, because we will be transitioning into the spring season, I just got a black overshirt. Um, this one I did get, I think, yeah, in a size large, just to be like more oversized. But my thinking with this just was that as we're gonna get into warmer weather, she says, but we do live in the UK, um, I hopefully won't need a coat. So this is just like a much lighter layer that I can throw on over just like a plain top and we're good to go. Obviously I did get it in black just because black is so easy to dress up. This one is like a, I think it's like a faux suede material, I wanna say, that's what it feels like. Um, yeah, which I really like. I don't actually own anything faux suede, so it's nice to just have a bit of a different material. This one is $35.99. The next, I just got a set of like casual sweats. So I just got a cream jumper, which is slightly cropped and then the matching joggers. I do actually love the vibe of like a straight leg jogger at the minute, like not cuffed at the bottom. Um, I was hoping to see some of those in Zara, but I just didn't see any. Um, but either way, I mean, I'm not mad at a cuffed jogger because obviously they're still super comfy. Um, the reason why I got these though is because I feel like I'm actually missing like a full set of sweats in my wardrobe. Like I've got separate joggers and separate like jumpers and hoodies. But I don't think I own like a full matching set and I can't believe I'm 25 years old and I've got to the point in my life where I've never owned like a full matching set. I am slightly skeptical about the fit of the joggers only because I am quite tall at five foot eight, so I don't even know if they're gonna be long enough. So I did actually opt for these in a size large purely for the length. Um, they do have drawstring anyway, so they'll just be able to tighten at the waist. So yeah, I'm just gonna see if they are long enough. Also, yeah, the sweatshirt, not sure how slouchy it's gonna be. I mean, it looks pretty slouchy. Um, got this one in a size medium. So the sweatshirt was 17 99 and the joggers were 22 99 Finally on the last piece now. So I got a, another overshirt. This one's obviously beige. This one is different though because it's not faux suede, it's like a wool material. Obviously like it is a bit thicker. It's not super warm in the UK. This one is still thinner than a coat so I feel like it is more spring appropriate obviously than the kind of coats that I'll be wearing at the minute. So that's why I picked it up because I probably will still need a layer on me other than just a t-shirt unfortunately. I am slightly unsure on this one just because it's got like these gold buttons 
I love gold in like jewellery and things but I'm just not really sure on the gold buttons on this it feels a bit like maybe a bit preppy for me so yeah I'll see when I try it on how I like it but I do love the colour of it and it is super soft I did get this one in a size large because I wanted it to be nice and slouchy when I throw it on um, and this one is £35.99. Okay, and that's everything that I picked up from Zara. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next video.